Well, we are a long established old company, sixth generation in this business, based in Bangkok. We are originally from Burma and we moved to Bangkok in 1963. And we have a long tradition of um, polishing, cutting, trading in rubies and sapphires, passed from generation to generation. I am the fifth generation and he is my sixth generation, my son. He has joined the business and we are very proud to have him with us. And most people don't realize, but rubies is one of the rarest commodities in the world. But unless you go on the ground yourself, the story doesn't, the whole story doesn't come together. There's no oxygen, so this is the oxygen tank from the cylinders up that they send the oxygen down for the people down here to work, so at least we can breathe better. By seeing this, I will be able to explain how much hard work is actually happening here. It's a completely different thing. It's thousands of times larger than what goes on in the sapphire mines. Being in the ruby business for the sixth, I'm the sixth generation in the ruby business and hearing and hearing stories about my ancestors owning mines in Mogok, see, hearing and reading about how it used to be and actually being in one of the largest ruby mine in the world today is absolutely an amazing feeling. I, I never knew it, it would be this way here. The feeling of being actually here and seeing them, it's, it's something I never imagined. I've heard, heard stories that you can actually walk on rubies. I never knew that it was, it was going to be a possibility. We've had the opportunity to see some beautiful stones at the Sod House and of course competition is going to be intense but we hope that we can get a few of these beautiful stones in Singapore. I think a lot to do in this auctions when you put so many competitors in one room, it's human nature. Nobody tells anybody what price they're putting, but everybody is looking at everybody's movements. Everybody is guessing. Everybody is imagining. Because everybody is in basically the same business. To try to get the best rough that they want to buy for the right price, cut and polish it, and make money. We had a young man and an older man, father and son, who were a very strong team with many different talents that were needed to, to win in these auctions. A beautiful lot of two and a half carat size cut rubies. The rough is between three and a half and four carat each now. It will be bright shiny stones, top red color, no heat, beautiful goods. The winner of Schedule C is Sun Enterprises. The hidden mysteries sometimes are not visible in the rough form. So we go through these challenges and sometimes we have to leave one small cavity in the back of the stone because 
If we take out that cavity, we may lose one carrot. stone so we lost about 60 points we were able to take out all the four holes on both the sides even the big one seven carat piece of rough that we had seen in the auction in Singapore and now it's a beautiful stone ready for sale here in Hong Kong all the competitors are here all the customers are here it's a marketplace two days we can learn a lot about what's going on in the market we can learn about our prices we can see who's needing what so I guess the shows are more important than ever before now. Trust and integrity are the foundation of our company and that's what I have been trained by, by my parents that always work on trust and integrity and make sure that everything to the clients is open and that's, that's the, basically the underlying foundation of our company. And I'm, I learned the quality of what our clients like from my parents. So, so basically in this business, it's passed, uh, knowledge is passed on from generation to generation. And the understanding of your clients and the needs of your clients are also passed on. Also when Anurag was young, Sanpal was very concerned. He was his only son. And he always kept saying, we were three brothers. <laughs> we could do something. What are we gonna do with one son? How are we going to take our legacy forward? And I always told Anura, always told Sanpal, one son is better than having four sons if he is truly into the business and if he can truly pass on this legacy to him to carry it forward. <laughs>